I have a professional relationship with those people. I can't just, I can't just email people boobus. You have to appreciate that chat. <laughs> um... That was weird. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what caused that. <laughs> I think I was still in OBS and I hit E. Uh, <laughs> and it just went to um, the scene that starts with E, which is ending. Um, oh, captions aren't working either. Well, I mean, maybe they shouldn't. <laughs> maybe it's better if captions never work again and it just always says boobus. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, no answer on boobus merch. Uh, if the merch store were up and running already, I would have already made it and posted it <laughs> for pre-order. Um, but that's not where we're at yet. It's slow, it's slow getting all this stuff up and running. Um, but do, do keep an eye out for more information about that, um, which will be incoming. Incoming when it's incoming, you know what I mean? Uh, it would be so cool if captions would work and then Boobus wasn't um, just there mocking me. Uh, oh boy, it would just be like, you can hear, yeah, y'all can hear me, so that's not the issue. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, I could do it in all caps. I didn't realize captions had an all caps option. Uh, I'm probably not going to do that, but it's good to know. Why won't captions work? Why does Twitch insist on mocking me in this way? I should make a boobus emote, but I don't, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. <laughs> uh, two uppercase locale. Oh, that's handy. I like when things just will automatically make things cap blocked. Um, boobus. Sorry, I was checking to see what, ca what, what captions would do with it. Kind of ran with it. Uh, I wonder if I can program in words to the captions. Uh... I can add, oh, I can't, okay. I can add a text replacement. Okay, let me see if this works. Boobies. <laughs> Olivia, way ahead of you, it's exactly what I did. I don't often say the word boobies, uh, but I'm glad that it's here now. <laughs> I could I could also replace it with the numbers. I could replace it with eight zero zero eight one five. Uh there's no reason I couldn't. Um I I love the fact that I can do that with captions. That there feels like a lot of insane potential with that. Uh that I'm gonna have to think about the best the best way to le leverage that. Uh, cause I could just have it, I could have it replace any word with anything. Uh, let me, hold on, let me try something. Okay. Alan Wake. Okay. Wow, that's going to be challenging. Is this too disruptive to the purpose of captions? <laughs> Alan, the Alan Wake one might be. <laughs> okay. No, yes. <laughs> Useful, it might be. K kind of a mixed answers there. Okay, I'm going to swap out. I'm going to, I'll get rid of the Alan Wake one. 
because uh, we're going to say Alan Wake a lot. And that feels like it's important to have that, that context for the game that we're playing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to secretly replace some words that I use, not like super commonly, but not uncommonly. Uh, and we're, we're going to do like a word of the day thing. We're going to do like a... Um, uh, we're going to do not... What, what is it? Like a, a secret word? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a playhouse style thing. Uh, I'll replace... I'm going to replace it and then it'll be up to chat to figure out what word has been replaced. It's not going to be something as common as Alan Wake, but it's going to be, it's going to be something that's not uncommon. Uh, so we'll just have to, I'll, I'll, I'll do something with that. I don't know what that's going to be yet, uh, but it's going to be a good time. I'll tell you that. All right. So we came back here because I didn't want the game to progress anymore. Uh, I have too many guns, but, um, you can never have too many guns when you live in America. So we're gonna go back, because we went, at the end of the last stream, um, nothing weird or funny happened. What I did is, came through here, I talked to Rose, she said more fucking crazy shit and told me I was being weird about it. Ooh. Yeah, there she is. And then I could hear uh, Odin saying some stuff inside. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. It was like a storm. She's not a demigod, she's a full your god. Mother did the or maybe right not. Thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. We need to find oh, the record. That's right. Name. Your mom's name was Freya he sang Saga. My mom took me away when I was still a baby. You didn't think to mention that? Plausible. You didn't think to mention you. Okay. Final task. The record is in the museum. The, it feel, feels pretty relevant if you're like, am I related to these Greek god-themed motherfuckers? To be like, well, my mom's name is Freya. That is not unrelated information. Hmm. All right, I don't have bolt cutters yet. I think I must be getting bolt cutters soon. So there's another bolt cutter situation. Yodin. A little worried I'm gonna have to shoot an old person with a crossbow. <laughs> Oh, the TV light is healing. I mean, I've, I've always thought that, but it's literally so in this game. It's just that I know some of the old people are evil, so... <sighs> Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy. Smudged, he felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. Hell. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. <laughs> Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. It's long. It's like 20 hours. Alan Wake 2 is. Uh, the first game was only like 10 hours, so. Uh, but we're right. We're right on track. I don't 
like that I can't talk to him right now. I mean, I guess we've been communicating in the brain space. Ooh. Oh, Goth, you're gonna wanna... You've missed some important lore. <laughs> you missed some important gestical lore. Conversation, new choices. With who, with Rose? Uh, I'm going to circle back and see see if Lore isn't, uh, if um, <laughs> Rose is who I am missing conversation with. Uh, yeah, Twitch has been having all sorts of issues on the back end, and it won't let me update the stream go live notice. I had to, I, I had to update the title in the chat which is thankfully a function that still exists, but it would not allow me to highlight or clip anything. Um, so once again, a formal thank you to Nicholas uh, for being such a good historian and archivist uh, for the stream. Because it was, it was hugely frustrating for me. Twitch is having, yeah, Twitch is having a lot of issues. More than usual. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. Mm. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Oh. Tragic. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places. Like the newspaper. Uh-oh. She's been talking to Scratch, I bet. To me with a cloud. If it's something really important, <laughs> he tells me... Or it's nobody. And Rose is having okay. issues. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? Good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. I love her. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, yeah, I would love to know what recipes she right is getting from Clouds, question They've mark. They've very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed well, love by Rose. how prepared you are. I'm obsessed with her. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Uh, well, that's fucking weird, Rose. You probably shouldn't be. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Is she? Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. Crazy Rose. Around town, and I oh my God! Some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. Obsessed. The stashes are for you too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. Yeah, in hindsight, the been. the tweed jacket wearing zombie killer was definitely Alan Wake in Rose's Alan Wake themed real person <laughs> fanfic. Wake tells you how to kill Taken. Oh sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Really nervous that Rose might just be killing people. Uh, <laughs> I would love, I would love to play as Rose, uh, but I, it's almost better to just talk to her. And see her face. <laughs> Just see her faces and the faces she makes, which are so incredible. Uh, Mechtel, I'm, I'm going to do you one better. I don't think she needs to be fixed. I think she's perfect <laughs> just the way she is. Shouldn't spend time on old questions. Hmm. 
taking place in Rose's snow globe. It does kind of feel that way. Are the recipes yep. that she gets... Already got the answers to these. The recipes she gets are just recipes she found in the newspaper that she thinks Alan Wake sent her, right? Like, that's, that's what it is, right? I hope Rose becomes an Ati figure and just kind of appears in every single game. That's not right. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? <laughs> I glitched. Okay. You go there. <sighs> go somewhere. Like here. Yeah. Um. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just Ugh. playing into the story? Saga, these are big questions <laughs> that I don't have answers to, so. Uh, yeah, Rose, love her. I did not remember to turn off achievements. Thank you for reminding me. Bing. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. Vladimir Blum. Okay. Uh, I can't use either of these? Ah, but I figured it out. Ecstatic to have learned that Rose is leaving them for me. That's Where's like Marigold left these lunch boxes for me. Uh-huh. Alan White apparently told her to. Well, who I gives a shit about one. that guy? Uh this is like in an anime when your crush makes you a bento. That's exactly what those lunch boxes are. Oh. I took the long way over that chair. <laughs> I'm not flirting with all the locals, I'm just flirting with Rose, because she's the love of my life. Oh, wait, that's actually where I need to go. But this keep fob gets me in other places, right? Uh. Uh. Let's go to the third floor first. No, nope, let's save real quick. And then let's go to the third floor. See if we can't talk to Ati real quick. Do we think Rose has an Alan Tulpa? God. How dare you remind me that Tulpas are a thing? But yeah, 100%. I would argue most likely to have a Tulpa is Rose. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reads it for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Who was one of them? He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs <laughs> out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Blum liked to talk. <laughs> okay. Good chat, Ati. Uh, I'm going to rummage through your drawers real quick, bud. I love that Ati has a disco ball in his room. It's really good. What? Rose's key fob doesn't get me in there? That's wild. I hate that. Okay. 
Kefald's no good without power. I see. Fuck, Ati. You've got to fucking place. stop jump scaring me been, like that. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement mm. and check the generator. Mm. But look out. You can never know if it's three the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Hmm. You never know in which tree the devil sits. I'm gonna drop off some of these. There we go. All right. Uh. Well, it's a good thing I opened this first, but I imagine I won't be able to play the record till I turn the power back on. Crowds go wild for the Old Gods of Asgard Ragrock Tour. Leaving chaos in their wake as they plow through the major U.S. cities on their aptly named Ragnarok Tour. The band is breaking their sales records with singles topping the charts and had their latest sold-out concert in Long Beach, California. Fans show their love for the reckless rockers by showering the stage with lacy unmentionables, black roses, and even full beer bottles. None of this phases the stars themselves, who embrace the admiration and transition from song to song with gust such gusto that the audience was left catching their breath, eager to keep up with the brothers Anderson and their co cohort. After hour shenanigans for the musicians include a pool in a private residential neighborhood left to be emptied and sanitized, and a hotel room nearly destroyed in a classical fashion, not to mention the lengthy room service bill gone up unpaid. All of the things point to this band quickly becoming a strong contender in the iconic Hall of Fame rock groups that came before them. Old Gods of Asgard's par party like their namesakes and give a performance like no other. Be sure to catch them on their tour and break bear witness to rock history in the making. Rock music is the ancient language of the soul. Love that. Old Gods of Asgard band member dead. Divinely talented guitarist Bob Balder, Fat Bob, as he was affectionately and ironically called, died from complications of severe illness, leaving his bandmates Odin and Tor Anderson behind. The peace-loving musician was sorely missed by the also by the band's numerous fans. Get the expletive out of my face. Balder is in Valhalla now. He fought cancer like a hero. Uh, Bob was too beautiful a soul for this world. I love the idea of an old folk home having a museum dedicated to the aww. Yeah. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Uh, all old folks homes should have cool museums to their residents' cool things that they have done in their life. And that rules. When you go and visit your grandparents, you should be able to go and visit the uh, museum portion and see the lives lived of everybody who's there. That would be cool. Anga's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it, to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now scratching he's hag. fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. I need to make uh -huh. Cynthia reveal its location. Time to torture an old lady. Poor Cynthia. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. I feel so bad for Cynthia. Cynthia. She was she dedicated her whole to life to fighting this thing, and then she just in this game just kind of succumbs now? to it. That's so sad. A broken The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. 
I can get it out of her. Anger's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? <laughs> Jim, yeah. <laughs> Dark water. Too many hands. The bath bomb frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. And oh, folks, careful. The Angus okay. Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Okay. I've got the key, but I can't get there until I turn the power back on. A bathtub, a pond. A lake? There's a theme here. <laughs> a Sam lake? There's a theme here. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. All right. Ooh, it's raining. Hey, more water. All right, let's... How do we think we get into the basement here? That's out to the other room. Probably out this way. Oh, it's snowing there. I'm so jealous. I mean, it's beautiful here. It's like in the 60s right now in St. Louis. And that's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Welcome to the emergency muster point. <laughs> Where are your goddamn pants, you all Norman? Should stay out here a while until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. I love that they have just wholeheartedly taken these character models and moved them from the room they were in to out here, including the chair. Is there anyone who didn't show up? Cynthia? Odin? Artie? Gail? Cynthia? If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On Thanks, Donna. Topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Oh. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just Ms. The Weaver. won't leave the poor woman alone. <laughs> that brute wants one thing and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some <laughs> water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Norm MacDonald? That's Norm MacDonald? Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh my God, oh, oh no, my God, Mandy, Mandy May. Oh, <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. That's not how knitting needles are. That's not how knitting needles do. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. All right. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Yeah, Matt's a loose thing. That's not what knitting needles do. All right. Thank you, old folks. Hey, do any of you know where, how to get to the basement? I don't have bolt cutters yet. Oh, I missed a manuscript page. Well, that's fine. I'm not actually that invested. <laughs> Why are we out here again? Archie said we'd be...
Hmm. All right, so there's probably like a storm hatch. Oh, basement, okay. So we need to go out and down and around. All right, all right, all right. Can I get through here? Bolt cutters. Call Cernet. Wow, Nicholas, what was happening? Oh. I'm hearing some sounds. Hmm. Rose, are you safe? Rose, where are you? The most dangerous game. <sighs> Are basements not common in the UK? God, where'd the other bolts go? Where'd the other body go? Is it in the water? Ah! More bolts lost to time. Damn. Alright, the basement. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get some close range combat. Who is this? Should I know who this is? Key fob's no good without power. Oh. Wow, look at all these props! Ugh. I mean, this flooding is... just gonna ruin a lot of this equipment, which is a real shame. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Thanks, Bloom. I haven't seen Blum yet. I'm gonna have to assume I'm gonna have to kill him at some point. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had very Oh, that's Blum? On his the back. dead guy was Blum? And on I off see. Wish. Okay. Okay. I've seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself. Or just his imagination. Seems bad. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was oh, the Oh, you air. okay. No, Wheeler, Jim, that's a good call. I totally forgot that I met that dude. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. How old were the party they? That followed, took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Alright, Barry, cool it. What are your clients are talking about? Alright. Oh, thank god. He was just blown. Oh. Maybe there are spares nearby. Yep. Yeah, I hear ya. Let's uh let's see. Yeah, let's use the shoddy. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. Okay. Emmett 
taken. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. If the coffee's the still hot, Charlemagne, you know? Their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching <laughs> everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them met down. Emmett? Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Emmett Elwood. Great. I love this. Stand up. Stand up, Saga. Okay. Excuse you? Oh, look, there's a little coffee grinder. Okay. Everything here could settle down. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Barbara Jagger, yeah, there she is. Artist commune, all right. It's earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Tom the Poet. All right. Hmm, not that invested in figuring out. The power's off. Uh, of course it is, all right. All right, fuse, 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 fuse. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Mm. Poor Cynthia. This game's doing this old lady dirty. <sighs> Two, seven, three. Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. All right. Two, seven, three. I heard that big noise. I simply could not be bothered to react. I'm certain I'll regret it later. All right, two, seven, three. Oh, there's a fuse in there. I thought it was just gonna be I thought it was just gonna be like um, more basic ass goodies. I was like, I'm not, I, I'm not even that invested in opening that. I'm glad that we did, cause that would have really stymied me. Let's see. Ooh. Rose, the spare fuses are now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry's bath room, laundry room. Why would you say somebody and then specify Ati? Like, what, what was the purpose of that? Okay. There. Power's back on. Great. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we've got to go back and watch the video. Is this something they watch on movie night? This nightless night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
So I guess that's a trailer for uh, Nightless Night, right? Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> All right. Okay. Shit. Hey, Cynthia. Careful, Saga. Nah. Goodies. I love that for me. I can't wait to put any of these in storage and forget about them and never use them. Okay, did more enemies spawn out here? I mean, there's light now, so I guess it wouldn't make sense if they did. All right. Going to Cynthia's room. Hey, Hobbs. Really good. All right, I think it was on the third floor. Yeah. Unfortunately, I would like to. I want to loot first. Okay. Gail? All right, Cynthia, I'm here, here to get that record. Jump scare me as you will. Mm -hmm. Looting first. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went to the basement today to check the lights. I can't trust Blum to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to reach them. I can't keep this up much longer. Tom's lamp is gone. The lamp with the angel on it. He always loved that lamp. It disappeared from my room. The darkness is here after all these years. It took Tom's lamp. I know it did. The lights are going out more and more. There's no one left to stop it. I can't do it on my own. Not anymore. I have nothing left of Tom now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need Tom's lamp back. I need Tom back. This is what Rose is going to end up doing if we don't save her from this. Shadows are moving. There's no more light, no more lamps. I can't find a way out of my room. Someone locked the door. Did I lock it? Maybe Tom did. He probably did it to keep me safe. He is such a considerate man. Barbara doesn't deserve him. Tom could do so much better. Where did Tom's lamp go? I used to have it. I guess he took it back. That's fine. It was his after all. The shadows are moving. Did I write that? Nonsense. There are no shadows. It's just us, Tom and I, forever. Uh, I found something funny while I was down there. A newspaper article about Tom, but it called him a filmmaker. Tom didn't make movies. He was a poet, a magnificent poet. I dug around and found the film equipment, supposedly also Tom's. What is happening? This isn't right. I know it isn't. <sighs> Aww. A power station. Yeah, it's the power well, station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. A lantern. Mm -hmm. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she yes. know about the dark presence? Yes. I feel like I'm missing some context here. It's okay, Saga. We're I'm not. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. I hope this story ends with Rose Towards killing romantic, Alan huh? Wake. For a very special woman. Oh. Oh no! God, are Torn Cynthia ever gonna get their happy ending? Look at this fucking pile of fuses. <laughs> Ati's not stealing them, Cynthia was. Mm. Just Cynthia deserved better. You know? Just out here doing the work, putting the time in. 
Oops. A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? <laughs> Listen, everybody needs a hobby. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. The hammer is his penis. Sorry, I just had to say it. It was going to bother me if I didn't. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. Yeah. I need to play it in the jukebox. Uh, there was a jukebox. I've seen a jukebox. Oh, it was on the first floor. Can I still not open this? Okay, no. Hey, Ati. Do you have more to say to me? No, okay. Solid 2009 reference, thank you. <laughs> I just, it was one of those things where, like, I knew if I didn't say it, it was gonna, it was just gonna bother me, so... I just rest assured I took no joy or pleasure in it. Uh, one of those weird near things. Dodging such an important part of this game, you should have made dodging good. I do love that effect, though. That mirror effect. That is very cool. It's very eerie and so well done. Uh, boop. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul. Oh, my something happening. Seeking to be home. Driven by passion, raging like a storm. The thunder and lightning, and the hubris. the music would keep playing it, it's so hard to know in these games when it expects you to move forward and when it expects you to like listen to the music because sometimes moving forward gets you to listen to the music and sometimes moving forward stops the music so you don't get to enjoy the cool song and that's just like it's just one of those things where it's like pick pick one for this to be how this functions like now we don't get to hear the rest of that song and I would I wanted to hear the rest of that song sort of in the moment I guess we can we can play it in the mind palace that's fine body of missing youth discovered in flooded bunker Nora Hesburgh this is what they were talking about went missing Saturday last week mm -hmm. incident occurred during a gathering of local youths at the bunker Gone too soon. Curious what um, connection Nora has to all of this. Because it, it, it they keep referencing her. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas. Bye, Sam. Mads. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. 
The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Ocean View! Welcome to the Ocean View Hotel and Spa. This is fucking incredible graffiti. Mommy, hmm. what are you doing? That's my daughter Logan! This isn't real! Beware the drowned lady. Fuck this place! Alright, so this is just repeating. Okay. Can I open? No, okay. That's fair. It is all rusted over. Uh, I don't... We were talking about Nora. I don't think Nora drowned, did they? Did she? I don't think we've seen any indication of that. There's five... Here's somebody's hammer. Mm, no power. Can't okay. use the switch. Poker. Okay. Camera, I fucking swear to God, could you, could you help me help you? Sometimes it looks like the bullets are not registering, and I can't tell if that's because there's just not an animation playing to show that they're registering, or... or what. Uh, I wish there was more clarity in that. Don't be dramatic. You're fine, Saga. Hey, we gotta do the thing. Also, you have to hit enter on that. You can't just use a mouse click, which is, I think, uh, also just kind of a bizarre choice. The wall just disappeared. The lights hit Hey. Hey. We're doing the Alan Wake thing. All right, no map. That makes sense. Hey, there's that man I killed. So it's not too different. Alright, we've circled back to the first room, the bunker. I get- okay, so her body was discovered in a flooded bunker. Cause of death has been determined to be drowning. Okay. Yep. I need to reach the center. Okay. Cynthia. She's here. A dead end.
we get back into the loop? Yeah. Oh, back here again. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you, Saga. <laughs> Saga's like, my run speed isn't fast enough for me <laughs> to be super enjoying these loops. Oh, can I get down in there? Ooh, nasty. Okay. It is so damp and it is so nasty. Like this is this is flood water too, which is some of the worst water out there. I'm just gonna full heal. So I have a little bit of space in my almontori. I mean look at this fucking water. It's grotesque. Uh, surprisingly clear though. I would expect it to be murkier, but it's mostly just got horrible little chunks of stuff in it. Still not ideal. Okay, that's a dead end. Maybe these stairs will be something. Okay. Locked. The key has to be nearby. Hmm. My guess is it's nearby in a different reality. So like nearness is mm, relative. Is this a dead end now? No, okay, it still goes. <sighs> Bye, well spoken rambler. Thanks for hanging out. Cutters? God damn it. Right? That's what you need? Fuck. Alright, well. Let's... Uh? Uh? Good reminders. Don't forget to take your meds if you haven't. I need to I need to do a fuller stretch of my body after this stream. I can feel it. Hey! Kiss. Kiss. Um. Alright, I hope the... Uh, trolobite agent. I think you might you might be right. Uh, that'll be I mean the key items seem to be in a different inventory. There we go. Okay. He just had a chunk of pipe. She was swinging pipe. Is 
there a safe spot over here at least? No. It's just that the longer we go without saving, finding a safe spot, the more nervous I get about the, the fucking game ending, game breaking bug that I keep getting. Huh, cool, I made a loop. All right, let's cut this thing. They patched that today? Oh, okay. So maybe it's, maybe it's okay again. Maybe the game is fucking playable again. All right, let's get on here. I still, I'm still gonna get nervous about not finding a save spot because what if there's just new horrible things in this update? What if there's other terrible things? This game good? Yeah, it's a fair question. I have not, I'm not ready to make a commitment on whether or not I think it's good yet. Uh, Cause the, I think the thing about Back the Alan Wake games is that it's, deeper. oh my God, is it's mostly about the story. And so until I have a better idea of how the story goes and how it all comes together, I don't feel like I know whether or not this is a good game yet. I mean, the game's being very generous with items right now, but I just don't, I don't have the space for anything. And this is my fault. Yeah, the graphics are great for sure. Um, I guess I'll, I guess it's better to keep the, they don't heal me full up, but it might be better to keep the little heal pads and then grab that full bag. Game saved, yay! Oh. Well, there for a moment. Then we switched over. Okay. Cynthia is changing the overlap. Trying yeah, I played Control. Uh, we've been playing through all the Alan Wake games. So we've played through Alan Wake 1, the DLC, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the Control DLC, and I've played Control on my own. I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. No. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's uh, trapped at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Tor, don't say that. Okay. What did that get me, game? Shit. I'm hoping that the double-sided monsters that we saw are building up to a cool Cynthia boss fight here. Okay, here a generator. I can't stand. Oh my god. She's under the water. She's mermaiding chat. I don't like that. She's mermaiding me. There must be a way to get the power back on. Yeah. I gotta go out of the water. Yeah, I hear you, girl. Okay, this is just loot. I mean, this is pretty gross water to be mermaid. Fuck you. Oh. Okay. Alright, 
so... Oh, for shit. fucking real? For real game? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't at the right prompt. I thought I could just walk up it. And the game said no. No. Uh, okay. So I can hear... I guess I'm just trying to get back to there? Okay. I mean, I'm grateful for the loot drops. For sure. Okay. Uh Somebody tell the speedrunners. So here's the whole map. Uh I pressed the button the game told me to press at the place the game told me to press it and it has dropped me through the uh, entire map, we are now out of bounds of the map. Uh, and we just... I don't think we're sinking any longer. Um, uh, but Saga's whole body has broken. <laughs> Game of the year, folks. 2023. So, so, okay, so this is... When I... Okay. Yeah, you remember like five minutes ago when I was like, I'm glad that that one game breaking bug has been taken out. But I do worry what new game breaking bugs have been added in. I mean, look at the fucking look at this. Holy shit. <laughs> Saga, no! Oh, her god, her Norse goddess powers are finally revealing. We have continued to sink. We can no longer see. Yeah, okay, it's just, it's just up there. It is funnier. It is a lot funnier. It's more visually interesting. Uh, it's just wild that this keeps happening. Uh, I guess six minutes ago is the one we want. Hey, Tor. Can you hear me? <laughs> Olivia, that did cheer me up. <laughs> that genuinely did. <laughs> I'm suffering. I, here's what it is: is I'm suffering from such. Well, I'll let them I'm here talk. to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. I'm suffering from Saga. such sunk cost fa so fallacy. Because it's like, we, ha we have to finish Saga playing Saga. Alan Wake 2. But it is, like, increasingly impossible to do it. But it's like, I can't stop. We've come so far. Alright, so... I assume we need to get to the generator. I think this is where I came in. I can't go back. I gotta get out of here. Shit. 
Where'd she go? I also can't express how much I dislike just all of this, because it's not like if I if I walk slower, is she less likely to no. So it doesn't like it doesn't seem like it matters what I do. I just have to like run from platform to platform. Uh Which is just sort of like, I don't know. Okay, that's where I'm trying to go. Can I make it there in one run? She's coming. Yeah, okay. All right, I went that there way and it was just stuff. It's like, I don't think I can do anything. Let's try. Let's see if I can shoot her when she comes for me. I gotta get out of the water. Okay. <laughs> Seeing her dive back was a little bit funny. So blood, blood did appear in the water. But I don't know that I actually did anything. Yeah, she was pumping jam for sure. But like, did that- did it actually get me anywhere? Like, it didn't seem to, like, slow her down. Yeah, if it bleeds, you can kill it. That's always fair, yeah. That's true. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would do something like get her to leave so that I didn't have to keep stopping. It's especially annoying because it's not like, <laughs> this isn't a game where you can just like mantle. So I have to stop, line up the button input and then do it. And that's just like, this is not, it's not a particularly smooth gameplay experience. I'm coming Tor, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tor. It's just a it's just a weird it's just weird choices for this section. Okay, got a generator up, uh, and I guess the lights are probably in that main gazebo section. Okay. Okay. Now, kill an old lady. Okay, game. I can't see a goddamn thing. I beached her. Where is she? Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You Thor, don't leave me. Yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Please no. Is this how this is supposed to go? I hate this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't like killing this sad, crying old lady. Like, that was... <laughs> not 
that was unpleasant. What are the plans after we finish Alan Wake's saga? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, there's so there's the Cult of the Lamb DLC. Came out, really want to play that. You help me get closer to escaping. Uh, there's Wait. another game that. Oh, the you? the new Turnip Boy Is game came out. I want to play that. When you were still trapped, I have the clicker. We can finish this. What about the clicker? Help. You, know, you can help. We, we, we all must find it. I already have it. Yeah, Turnip Boy robs a bank. Very excited about that. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Black in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice attitude. A family trait? I'm so glad uh, Tor's all right. Uh, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> <sighs> I just didn't like anything about that. Sometimes horror is like sad horror. Look in the mirror. I would say that's a whole genre of horror where it's just like, this is a little too real and a little too much. I mean, like a lot of horror is sad, but there's sad horror and there's like, this really makes me feel bad, genuinely. And that did, did not feel great about that battle. Because I just, I just shot with a shotgun an old lady who was like crying. Felt weird about it. I'm gonna let this song play though. Okay, Red Griffin, that's funny. <laughs> that's something, at least. Ooh. 
Oh, I can see Saga's face. <laughs> it's missing an insane metal breakdown, like some of the other games we've heard. This is very good, though. Saga. Part of the reason that boss fight felt weird is because I mean she's obviously possessed by a demon, but she was she just looked like an old lady in a nightgown, and then I shot her like six times with a shotgun, and that was the fight. I, I if the fight had gone differently, maybe I'd feel different about it, or if she had been more manifestedly demonic in some way, but it was just like it just yeah while she was sobbing. It is so much harder for me. I think your shotgun must have wrecked her. Yeah, I we were up close and she got caught on the geography geometry of the set a little bit. Um, yeah, I can see how that fight going a different way would give me different feelings about it. That was just sad, especially because she's been like such a she's been such a function of the plot with having so little, like internal personality she was like she was so structural to, to uh, Alan Wake one with leaving caches everywhere and then helping you and then the fact that in this one we don't ever really get to see her she's just like she we the, the first time we get to see her is she's like a demon like that and it's just like it, I understand why that had to happen plot wise in this one and it's kind of nice to see what happened to her but it is just sort of like this whole lady gave her whole fucking life to Thomas Zane, this fucko. Uh, and it's just like, it, there's just a lot of female characters whose whole story is, I gave my life to this fucko. And what did I get for it? Fuck all. We need to talk. 
Yeah. Sag is here to balance that out, and that Watch helps quite a lot right. for this one. But it's just like Rose, Alice, and Cynthia. That's that's it. We can have our talk in your head. You have yes. there, right? Brain Grandpa. I'm your grandfather. Yes, Brain what Grandpa. Yes. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. Cool. See past the lies. Cool. Past this bullshit horror story. Ah. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. Yes. Yeah. I am a seer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a power. My so hype about it was. Norse goddess saga. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Cool. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. <sighs> and that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. Yes! I love, I love the idea that the Dark Presence is kind of unrelated to these Norse gods. They just sort of got, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. There's something very like Sandman-esque about that, where it's just like, yeah, there's this Dark Presence thing happening. Also, there's some Norse gods. Um, they don't really have anything to do with it. They were just here, <laughs> and now they're a part of it. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. But she's Only wrong. They're cool. <laughs> they're cool and dope. That should not have been fucked with. Oh? Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. Gave you cool knit sweaters. Power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she <laughs> called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Yeah, that's fair. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. What did you do to her dad? I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. Olivia, it's a good question. I won't stop until they're safe. It's a good question. I like to think that they are just the Norse gods. I think that's funny. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? I am. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. 
Blow reality's eardrum. <laughs> awesome. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't okay. use the anchor without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story hey. first. Cats and I can't stop the horror story without him. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Fucking right, Saga. Somebody needs to take Alan Wake here, by the collar. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Well, we already did that, Saga. Sorry I didn't put that up sooner. She's got me clicking my tongue, too. How is that not... Okay. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence yeah. fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. Hmm. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place. It's awesome. Their own powers. Family. Okay. Uh. There's a clicker. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark places focus on art? Uh, there we go. Okay. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. Because of who I am. Okay. Because of my family. Awesome. Wait needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Okay. And I'll need to keep an eye on him. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Yeah! Me and my bro awesome. will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is a lie. Uh, over deck 100, 100,000 percent. Bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Aww. Uh, yeah, it, I... Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of... <laughs> Fate, yes. It's just both up. I would love to see both see of their mind palaces. Saga. Bye, Pops. The FBC is holding Wake at the sheriff's station. I need to make oh, Agent Eskiv understand. Oh my I god. And I have the clicker. We have to work together to stop this. What the fuck happened in here? Casey, I didn't do this shit. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus on uh, Get to the okay. station to wake. Yeah. Um yeah, I mean, Rose's actress is doing so much of the heavy lifting of why I am obsessed with Rose. Your hair is looking nice today, Mandy May. Norman, put some goddamn pants on if you're gonna flirt. All right, I'm wondering if I can get into, oh, I should drop some stuff off. Yeah, aww. There. Oh, I 
I'm out of... Alright, well, I guess I'll put the shotgun up. And I'll put up the one spare crossbow bolt that I got until I can get more for a nicer stack. Alright, I want to see if the, I can get into that room up top here. Still not, huh? I wonder if we'll circle back or uh, if that's going to be like New Game Plus stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go out the back way because there's that door we could open with the bolt cutters and I want to do that. There we go. Hell yeah, Saga. Every bolt I can find, we are cutting. All right. Yeah, the light is pretty. The, the game is gorgeous. The game is unrelentingly beautiful. I have no complaints about that aspect. Oh, I guess I can probably do all this stuff. I'm, I, I remain apathetic about the stashes, but I would like all of the riddles. Which I think are over that way. Oh, that's a bingo card. Okay. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor <laughs> rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively bro. blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. What? But he has this other eye. die it is g so gorgeous are you kidding me with this ah! Ah! oh my god uh, it's, uh, just a just fucking spectacular <sighs> Another cult box. A 
for real? What do you game? What do you think boat cutters, bolt cutters are for? Huh? All right. So there is an arrow pointing this way. Gonna be another arrow somewhere. Okay, there's another arrow. It's pointing this way. It's pointing this way. Go back up this rock? Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> is that a different kind of flare? What is that? Rocket flare inflicts heavy damage in a large area on impact. Okay. All right, I accept. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the mist. Look at the mist rising from the water. Oh my God. I, God, desperately wish this game had a photo mode so I could take oh. a beautiful snap of this without Sag Saga standing there. Oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> oh my God. Oh my God. The, the, the evaporating dew. Ridiculous. Insane. I can't believe they've done this. Okay, I would love some riddles or lunch boxes. Instead, I'm hearing an enemy oh, and a wolf. What if you all just attacked each other and not me? I hate the fast-moving ones so much. Where did that wolf go? There we go. Uh. No, don't just yell coffee world at me. What? Another locked box. There's another focus stash. saga. <laughs> I know you have to spend crossbow bolts to make crossbow bolts, but it still hurts to lose them. Oh, like I have, I'm down to two. Ugh. All right, I'm looking for an idea. Uh. uh. All right, I also saw... There we go. I see. So the red markings... All right, so we got the double stack, or the, the tip to tip, the left to right. And... 
the ass to ass. Okay. Oh, is that not the right order? Um, uh, do the ass to ass and the tip to tip. There we go. Okay. Ooh, grenade. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but ooh. I was really hoping for some uh, riddles. So I like the riddles. Ow. Beautiful. Oh, okay. I see a light. Oh. I just want to find like the farthest most tip that I can stand. And I just want to sit here for an hour and look at this beautiful, beautiful sun. And I don't think... Uh, it's gonna be productive. <laughs> I don't think the game is gonna let the passage of time happen in a way that gives me a beautiful view. Oh. Uh, we're almost certain to find a riddle at the ranger, ranger station. Again, I have bolt cutters. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> how dare you? demand I get a key. I've got nature's nature's key and it's called bolt cutters. Can I use a screwdriver on this? Okay. I love that Rose went through all the trouble of getting oh, a I bunch of vintage trying. Alan Wake Alex Casey lunch boxes off the internet and then put them in the woods with garbage in them for me to find. A child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home as their hiding place because outside monsters roam and chase. When they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Don't tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. Give them treats and pray. Guess... Nah. A child needs their mother to keep them safe and a home is their hiding place. Should this be the, is there a child? Okay, yeah. When they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Don't tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. I don't like that there's a doorbell ring. Oh, okay, good. More location information. That'll make it easier to find. I guess let's open the door and then continue to explore. Ooh. This is so spooky. I think they're in the bathroom. I don't, should we disturb them? Kind of seems rude. Hello? Knock, knock. 
luck. Okay. Hey! That A was charm. fun. I liked that. Perfect. Oh, for it's my just, another, just another coffee cup charm, though. That was fun. Pastures now. I like the riddles. The riddles are really fun. Nope. I hear some less fun things. It has come to my attention that both of you have left your duties on your post on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around town on personal business. This is unacceptable. You are under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality, and as your supervisor, I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find the work boring, too bad. You're to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project uh, requires. I'm changing your posts. I'll be overseeing the watery area as it is now as it now has the most test sites to cover. The ranger camp there will be the, my base of operations. Vega, you are to move to Cauldron's Lake Witchfinder Station. Michaels, you are to stay in Bright Falls Station. I don't want to hear any more excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Acknowledge and understood. That goes for both of us, my, Michaels and me. It really was not gallivanting, as you put it, though, as I was attacked by some rabid animals out there in the woods, and Michael helped me get medical attention in town. You should know all that if you read our messages, of course. In any case, order is received. Uh-oh. Time for FBC to unionize. I really thought that would put on the map. Uh where the rest of the riddles were. Thought it did that in the past. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix Ooh. his attempt to play God. <laughs> That's the plan. FBPA, the yeah. Heaven. Oh, oh, there we go. Hmm. All right. So there's two missing. I'm still missing one doll too. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh. I guess I'm gonna try to circle back to that cult stash. Did I make it here? Yeah, I want to circle back to that cult stash and then we'll continue. What's happening? What? Before you go back to the sheriff's station, you can meet the mayor if you go to Watery. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what are you wanting me to do? <laughs> meet the mayor? Okay. And we... Okay, so we need to... I can hear beasts. Go to the sheriff station and meet the dog mayor. <laughs> I don't I don't think the dog's actually a mayor. So I do worry that um, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment, but I will do it. Uh, chat, you've never once ever in the entire longevity of this stream um, did me wrong. So uh, yeah, we'll go see the mayor.
Okay. Do you do drop anything for me? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Another one of those cult boxes. Yep. in the chimney? That chimney or what is this? It's in Santa's ass? Okay. I just want to check real quick if it's in the chimney. I think the key is to go to Watery before you go to the sheriff station. Okay, so when we get back to town. Uh, we'll go to Watery first. This is doable. Things. I'm gonna walk around to the outside. Maybe it's on a different building. Oh. There it is. A little handprint, too. How ominous. Took me forever to figure out the hint was it Santa's butt. Why are you making this so complicated? Just give us normal fucking keys. Fair. Fair and true. Is this anywhere? Yeah, okay. You gotta move forward. There we go. Yes. Yes. Shout out Mandy May and Rose. Did I already get this one? Shit. Fine. Okay. You know, I do remember coming down this way before we started exploring the actual uh, old folks' home, so that's fair. All right. Ooh, cool ship. Can I go hang out at the ship? If I were going to put a riddle somewhere, we'd be on a cool old ship, you know? Oh, oh this More is just kids outside lunch of town. Boxes. Ooh, tell me about Rose's message. Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. Okay, so Alan Wake All is writing Rose routine, like this. Humming happily. So Fucking happily she pathetic. realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero. Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero <laughs> liked it. Something about knitwear. Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the network to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest. Oh my god, the sweater has plot knitwear importance. To mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the network. <laughs> Rose thought hard. 
Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Incredible. Incredible. The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small bird fluttering against its cage. I shivered. I was cold too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape, a bad shape. It looked at me with evil glowing eyes. I gasped, no, it had seen me. It growled and lurched towards me. I ran, I ran and ran and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's heavy breath on my neck hot breath on my neck. It was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I'd never been so scared. Not ever. This is the end. I wish someone, anyone would come to save me. Alan Wake isn't coming for you, my dear. It's time to find a crossbow of your own. Okay. A door, huh? Can I get can I open that door? Get to the other side? No? No? Okay. Yeah, I think they're going with God's eye being knitwear. I would not consider it knitting. But that's just me. Are they over here? Oh yeah. Figure more! Figure more, figure more, figure more! Neither knit nor wear. <laughs> yeah, Liz. That's extremely true. There's something down here. Something for me? Oh, yeah. Five little monsters out on the sea competing to see who the winner will be. They rocked their boats to find out who floats until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried. In the sea, she replied, on the bottom, they will rot if they will not stop rocking their boats. <laughs> okay. Huh. Hmm. Five little monsters out on sea. Monsters did fall. Mama cried out to the sea. So I guess the monsters are on the boat. And the mom in the sea? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, feeling that way. I was gonna see if there's anything down here. Yep, just beautiful, more beautiful sunrises. <sighs> okay. I hear some. Oh. Are you just people? Alright, you're taken. Okay, I don't think you're taken. Ah! <laughs> That was not what I was trying to do. Who's throwing shit? Come back? A weird little sigh. Oh 
Um, for fuck's sake. Come on, reload. How many times do I have to hit the reload button before you do it, Saga? That's my question for you. All right. <sighs> okay, there's one crossbow bolt back. I don't think I'm going to recoup the rest of them. Thank God for battery, though. Oh. I think if I reload... I'll have inventory space? Okay, there we go. Lots of charms lying around here. Chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. Uh, I'm okay with what I've got. Okay. Investigate previously flooded area. I did that, but I guess I didn't do it well enough. That's fine. Crossbow bolt. Uh, I would love a heal. Wow, each of these rocket flares takes one whole inventory space? Sheesh. Sheesh, game. Well, let's drop one of those and heal ourselves. I guess I'll use it. I guess I can't drop it. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's fun. All right, let's get out of here. I got the charm. I got what I needed. All right, so if I get in my car and go to Watery, I can see the sheriff is what I understand the situation to be. Is this my car? No. this my car? This looks like it could be a fed car. Alright. No, no, Mechtel! <laughs> I mean, the game's beautiful. No denying. I hear some concerning things over from Bright Falls. You mean that horrible affair at the lodge? Why is everyone running around shooting at everything nowadays? Oh, I thought small towns like ours were supposed to be safe. I don't see the mayor. Is he supposed to be here? Might not be the right time. Okay. It's okay, Jim. I might I might look it up. Or if somebody else wants, to, somebody who has played and is not spoiler-minded wants to look it up and let us know, that would also be handy. Let me get rid of this. I guess I'll put the shot. I guess I'll put that up so I don't have any stuff for it. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, we can try to figure out, figure that out next time. Wait, can this can can I get on the stage? Oh no, no, no! Go back out there. Ah. Oh, that's nice. 
Thanks. Ah. You just did it accidentally. <laughs> you were doing good. You were exploring the game appropriately, and you found fun little secrets. It's the way to do it. Uh, let's quick slot this. Yeah, next to the... Okay. You have to finish Coffee World and complete the overlap with Mulligan and Thornton. I don't think we have done the overlap with Mulligan and Thornton, so that's probably it. Power out is out at Watery. All right. Well, we'll be back. It's Thursday. We'll be back Sunday for more of this game uh, in a stream that I'm certain will suffer from no bugs or incidents in the absolute least. It'll, it'll go perfect. I won't have to restart the game. I mean, at least I didn't have to, like, shut the game down and reopen it for that one. So that it is an improvement. It is, it is improving. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. Yeah, well, I'll see you all Sunday. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'll see you all Sunday. Bye, everybody.